We are just two days away from the presidential inauguration and the Connecticut National Guard will play a role in securing our nation's capital. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne joins us now live at the digital desk to explain why the Guard has decided to send more personnel from our state. Good morning, Roger. Good morning to you, Irene. You know, early last week, we told you that 100 guardsmen from Connecticut would be heading down to D.C. for the inauguration. But in recent days, the U.S. National Guard has decided to triple that number. When you look at some of the footage from earlier this month, when rioters stormed the Capitol, you can understand why security is such a big priority. This newly released video by The New Yorker shows some of the most detailed and disturbing actions. We are listening to Trump. You're a boss. The nation's capital has since turned into an armed fortress ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. And now Connecticut will play an even larger role in securing Washington, D.C. Initially, the U.S. National Guard requested 100 Connecticut Guardsmen, but now they have upped that number to 300. Captain David Pitlick says the men and women of the Connecticut National Guard are proud to help ensure a peaceful transition of power. We can expect that they'll be doing anything from, say, entry control points, uh, running cordons, traffic control, uh, general security. Now, coming up later this hour, we'll talk about what the FBI is doing to make sure the men and women set to protect the Capitol have all the resources they need. Live at the digital desk this morning, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.